Tonight. Here you're up again. Richie! Baby! Billy! Dad! Emotions run high. I just hate that I have to go up against my best friend. Preparing for a head-to-head -head battle. Our contestants are going to have to fight for their lives. Can they put their feelings aside? In training, my focus is beating Lisa. And keep their minds on the fight. It means that it's either her or I. Arriving at Camp Biggest Loser today, we were both fully aware that the contestants had been to temptation. Now, that's the one thing that brings out the best and the worst in people. I couldn't wait to see who'd taken it. Hey. Hey, guys. As soon as we walked into the lounge room and found the contestants, we knew straight away something had gone wrong. What's going on? We had temptation yesterday. What was it? It was a chance. Pretty much, it was all chance. Winning immunity? Yeah. Had three wheels. First one had a one in 32 chance of winning. <laughs> it was like a show, you know? You got to pay your mission fee to spin the wheel. And how did you play? What was the, what was the currency? Chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> so it was like a chocolate wheel at the casino, guys. That's what it was like. The temptation that's been revealed to us is really just all about gambling. And this, that's what these guys have been doing all their life. They've been gambling with their health. They've been gambling with their weight. So this temptation speaks volumes to me. The only person that won something on the first run was Dave. <laughs> Who played second round? I managed to um, get another prize. It's a three-day venture holiday to Queenstown, New Zealand. Then we got to round three. So who played? Well, Rick and I and Dave again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why did you play again, Dave? You got your prizes. I just thought it was pretty good odds. The fact that Dave ate nearly 3,000 calories to get immunity undermines his efforts so far at Camp Biggest Loser. He was on top of the leaderboard five weeks in a row. He didn't need to go out like this. He doesn't need to gamble with his weight loss. Is that what you're here for, to be a gambler? It wasn't about the gamble. I guess I still felt like I was in control of my own destiny. Mate, you spun that wheel. You had no control. You had a one in four chance. You had no control. Yeah, but I guess I weighed up the odds, Shannon, and, and thought, you know, it's actually a small price to pay for the, re the reward. You've won much more than just immunity. You get to match up your fellow contestants, one against the other, and they will face off at this week's weigh-in. If they beat their opponent, they are safe for another week. Lisa and Jana. Shannon and Phoebe. Joe with Phil. Caitlin and Rick, that means you two will now be going head to head. Whoever lost the least amount of weight was to go below the yellow line. Dave was definitely going to make some enemies through this power. I know some people aren't happy with it, but at the end of the day, you've got the power to, to do that. Jan is upset because she's been matched up against Lisa, the only couple in the house to now have to go head to head. I just hate that I have to go up against my best friend and that it's her or it's me. And that's really, really hard. And I get the gameplay, I don't, I don't begrudge that. I understand I put my hand up for this, I don't. I just hate that I have to go up against Lisa. The weight of actually having to put your own partner that you came in here with under the yellow line is obviously way too much for Jana. It's really stressed her right out. All right, well, let's train. You know, let's get these the calories thing, off. if you get hold of training, turn that negative energy around, use it as motivation. Don't let it eat you up. Channel it into your training now and release it physically, and you'll feel so much better. With all of the contestants feeling the pressure from the temptation, it was time to get stuck into training. Let's do it. And I took my new training group, Phil, Jana, Phoebe and Rick, up to the yard. All righty. On the heavy bags, Rick, Phil, two girls over here. When I say go, I want you to hit the bag ten times. Ready? 
Our contestants are gonna have to fight for their lives this week. Some of them against their best friends. 10, go. One push up, drop, one push up, go. Up again, 10. A bit of pride that stay here. Who can stay above the yellow line? That's what it's all about at the end of the day. I wanted to start the week off with a fighting ethic, so we got into the boxing ring. So we've got Caitlin covered, mate. I reckon she's a force to be reckoned with this week. Good. 10, quick, quick, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I do think I got Caitlin beat this week. You know, she tr does train hard when she puts her head to it, but mentally, she's probably not as tough as me. Beams, come back, one each, good girls. I'm matched up with Shannon this week. I find that quite difficult. He's my best mate here. Decided that I'm gonna train as hard as I can, just as I would every other week. I think in the head-to-head -head comp this week with Joey and I, I think the fact that Joey, being a lot younger, and it's 24 years, he's definitely got the ability to burn the calories a lot quicker than me, so that is a real concern for me. Four. Six. Shannon's big focus is about, about us going into battle against our partners. That means that in training, my focus is beating Lisa. And I hate that, and I hate that. It means that it's either her or I. Right to the corner. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right. The pressure on Jana's face had been evident since the contestants had revealed to us what had happened in Temptation. I can't imagine how hard it would be for her being pitted against her best friend. It's most important that you fight like hell to stay above the other line. From day one, we've said no regrets. Mm -hmm. Lisa needs to be here, and so do you. Don't we're just start, that. We're just starting to see the best of you. So my options are that I sabotage myself and I throw it, which was my first reaction. Like, my first response was, under no circumstances will I let Lisa go under. But I don't want to sabotage myself. And Shannon has made it very clear to me that if I do throw this, that I'm doing everything that I used to always do, and that was always put people first before me. You have to fight. You've got to fight, girl. Six. Jana's journey is far from over herself. It would be ignorant for her to think that she needs to be here less than Lisa does. Lisa doesn't need charity. It's got to charity her whole life, people trying to get her by. I've spoken to her, she would never forgive herself if she went out of here knowing that you threw it. Six. I want to put myself ahead. I, I want to lose the weight. Now let me see you stop, Phil, above your head. Keep them up. The main thing I wanted Jana to take away from today's session was that Lisa didn't need her charity. She's better than that now. And Jana needs to learn to fight like hell for herself. The team I received today was Shannon, Lisa, Joe, and Caitlin. And Dave decided to join me as well. I can see that what's happened has shaken everybody. And, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you, Dave, have all the control. Because we all know that no one can control this game. There's only two things that you can control in this house. It's your nutrition and your exercise. You now got yourself up against a particular person, but at the end of the day, you're still on your own. Everyone, except for Lisa and Shannon, have enjoyed temptation. Dave is the worst offender. He will be copping it as much as I can dish it out. Seven, great Dave. Six, five, four, go Shan. Three, two, one. On the cross trainer, slow your... Everyone in the whole training group were working on the 90 second theory. Two, 30 second jump. sprint, 30 second resistance, 30 second sprint and every single one of them left nothing in the tank. Six, five, four, three, two, and off. Yes, yes, and yes, well done. 20 Ks an hour, well done, Joey. Who are you up against? Ricky! Billy. Baby. Donna. Yes. Michelle. All right. Doesn't matter that you're up against these people. It doesn't matter, it's all part of the game. Who cares? At the end of the day, you're up against yourself. 
Lisa was clearly distressed before this training session even started. The idea of having to go up against Jana and potentially send Jana under the yellow line has all the hallmarks of Lisa backing off. Lisa, Jana would only be anything but proud of you to make sure that you are training hard this week. I wanted to give Lisa the confidence to believe in herself, believe that she deserves to be here just as much as anybody else does. Last 10. Hang in there, Lise. Michelle talked about have, focusing on someone and having someone focus on ourselves. For me, every week I focus on going home to my family slimmer. So that'll be my focus this week because that's what I want to achieve here. It's not about achieving pushing Jana under the yellow line and I don't want to focus on that because to me that's a negative, not a positive. After our training session, we got changed quickly and headed out to the parade ground. Hi everyone. Hi, Hi Hayley. Welcome to a Biggest Loser special event. It was only weeks ago that you walked through the gates of Camp Biggest Loser in dire need of help. Years of overeating and low activity were sending you to an early grave. Well, look at you now. Your weight has come down by 20, 30, 40, 50 kilos. Imagine what your loved ones would think if they could see you right now. How proud would they be? Well, one person that doesn't have to imagine is Phil. He's already seen the reactions of his loved ones to his incredible achievements. Phil, since seeing your family, you have become a machine. At the last weigh-in, you were the biggest loser of the week for the second week running. Your weekly weight loss was the biggest ever recorded by a contestant on Australian Biggest Loser. Phil, as this week's Biggest Loser, you've once again won the privilege of a family visit. But that's not going to happen. Phil has selflessly decided to forgo the reward he so deservingly earned. And one of you is about to become the lucky recipient of his generosity. I knew I was going to give it away, but I just had the decision that I had to make amongst three people, I thought. So the question is, who will the lucky person be? Well, you're about to find out because the reward has just arrived. So the question is, who will the lucky person be? Well, you're about to find out because the reward has just arrived. Oh my God, is that my girl? <laughs> oh, you deserve it, you really do. Go get it. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mum. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Lisa, how good does it feel to hold your girls again? Amazing, Haley. How much have you missed them? I can't even put it into words, Haley. They're my whole world, they stupid walker. <laughs> And they're the reason I'm here. <sighs> Is this the longest you've been away from them for? Hayley, I um, left the girls for about five days once, and I swore I would never leave them again after that because it was just hell. And um, the fact that they've supported me to do this. <laughs> And I'm missing so much of them, you know. Tegan's grown. 
Chelsea thinks she's a new trawler. <laughs> Girls, can you remember your mum looking this good? She always looks good, I guess. Aww. But... <laughs> Just in a bigger version. <laughs> but you always look good. <laughs> Don't you love honesty? <laughs> <laughs> now, Lisa, as you know, on The Biggest Loser, we don't do things by halves. So, why don't we bring out the missing piece to this family puzzle? <laughs> Lisa, I know you've missed him. How good is it to see Campbell again? It's so nice how he just... Uh... <laughs> Have him hold me. <laughs> and tell me it's OK. It's been a long time, isn't it? Mm. Well, Campbell, does she look different? She does look different. Yeah, as you walked out, I thought, where's she gone? <laughs> Yeah, that's no, fantastic. Unbelievable. Lisa, do you want to tell your family how much weight you've lost? <laughs> yes, please. I've lost 32 kilograms. Oh, Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my well God! Done. That's awesome. That's heaps good. And I haven't been this light since the year me and Daddy got married. Oh, my serious? God! You can really that's get unreal. into a wedding dress. Oh, my God! <laughs> I've got a little well way done. to go to get into it. <laughs> Lisa, it's time for you to go and enjoy some time with your husband, Campbell, and your two beautiful girls, Chelsea <laughs> and Tegan. Thank you. To the rest of you, get training, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks, Thanks Harry. Harry. Next on The Biggest Loser, Lisa joins in the fun of her family visit. Once we'd finished on the parade ground, we headed inside and I got to show my family around Camp Biggest Loser and my home at the moment. So this has been all the winners so oh, yeah. far of The Biggest Loser. So Adro, oh. Chris, Sam and Bob. And then I'd like my face there. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. You know, you got a dream and it would be nice for it to be a female biggest loser and if it's me, well that would be a nice thing too. So this is our living room lounge room. <gasps> da, 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 da. Oh there it is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It was really nice to be standing there with Campbell and the girls and show them the dress, you know, under the beautiful lights and it looked lovely and you know that that's what I'm aspiring to get into for them. So nice. Mummy will fit into that in about another 18 kilograms, that's all. Really? Mm hmm I think it would be just a fitting end if I could get back into my wedding dress and we could, you know, renew our vows in front of the girls in that dress and have that moment to share as a family. After we'd had a good look around Camp Biggest Loser and we headed off and went down to a beach so that we could spend some time as a family. We looked out and there was two kayaks and I thought, oh dear, <laughs> this is going to be fun, you know. <laughs> but it was also exciting because, you know, that's something I probably would have avoided doing with the girls because my fitness level wasn't there. <laughs> it was a really nice feeling sitting down in that kayak and having Tegan in front of me and Camilla and Chelsea next to me in the other kayak and, you know, doing what families should do and that's enjoying each other's company and it's something I'll be doing more of when I get home. So we have lunch. That's a bit of a long yeah. tea. Right. Yeah, no, another couple for you. Once we'd finished eating, the girls, of course, wanted to explore the beach, so off they went, and it was nice just to sit and have a chat to Campbell on our own and make sure everything was really OK. Every day we sort of think, I wonder what Mum's doing. Oh, she's probably exercising. And, and it's going to give you more time to live, you know? It's going to add years to your life, Lisa, isn't it? I just miss you so much. I know. 
We miss you too, Brad. You know, you've got to make sacrifices, but it's worth it at the end. And for me, that's what I want this to be, worth it that I've sacrificed so much. At the end of the day, we knew that, you know, it was all over and that we had to say goodbye again. And I didn't want it to be a really, really sad thing. I wanted it to be, you know, I'll see you soon. I love you. Thank you. Having Campbell and the girls come to visit was um, giving me a new lease on life in Camp Biggest Loser and giving me motivation to stay here and that they support me. And to hear that this far in just makes it a bit easier to focus on, you know, where I want to be and what I want to achieve. Love you. Oh.